Welcome to the AEG 2021 annual meeting. My name is Gary Langham and I'm the executive director. Before I tell you a little more about the meeting, let me say a few words about the AEG during the pandemic. This has been a hard year for all of us, both personally and professionally. Um, and so I'm pleased to tell you that our organization has withstood the challenges of the pandemic very well. A year ago, we were facing severe losses from the cancellation of the in-person meeting, uh, as well as stock market losses. Uh, despite this, we kept looking for ways to help members. We launched nine new programs uh, to our sister community during the pandemic, and we drew upon $900,000 in reserves to fund this. Um, we also decided to continue our long planned and much needed work on a new membership database uh, and uh, all new website. So we were able to get through this very well, um, in part by reducing spending in all other areas. Uh, and this has kept us on budget. And uh, all the while, we, we still kept building towards a better future. As expected, we did have a drop in membership during the pandemic with a 19% loss year over year. Now, three out of four uh, of these were graduate students and members making less than 75,000 per year. Of course, graduate students and postdocs represent the future of geography, uh, both as an academic and a professional field. Um, and so in this past year, we created some programs to help offset membership costs for these groups. These uh, were available to both undergraduates and graduate students, helping more than, than 1,000 so far. Uh, later this week, the council will meet and we will consider expanded membership programs um, for those hardest hit by the pandemic, uh, expanding eligibility in several key ways. We also continue to work on diversity, equity, and inclusion. In the coming year, we will launch a diversity and inclusion strategic plan. Now, this is a, a three-year plan that commits the organization to specific actions, staffing, and funding uh, to address the current and historical inequities uh, in geography and at the AAG. And this will take place over a three-year period. I expect that plan to be finished uh, this fall and to launch. And so please join me in thanking the Diversity and Inclusion Committee for their hard work on this. Of course, three years and one strategic plan can't possibly resolve all the issues related to diversity, equity, and inclusion. So, perhaps best to think of these as uh, just the beginning of our ongoing work to make geography and the AEG a better place. So now thinking about our meeting coming up this week, um, this is our second all virtual event. And I know we're all looking forward to getting together in person as soon as possible, uh, but this virtual meeting is exceeding all our expectations. We have over 5,000 registrants. Uh, in nearly 3,000 presentations in 100 in 1,000 sessions. Um, despite the many challenges of the pandemic, I think this means that our community continues to thrive, uh, both in terms of academic scholarship, uh, but also uh, how we apply these uh, findings to making the world a better place. And all this will be showcased this week, and we are so very proud to host you and your work um, at this meeting. Let me share a few highlights that I'm excited about. Uh, please join us for a sneak peek at the new AAG website on Wednesday, April 7th at 3.30 Eastern Time. Uh, for many months now, we have been working uh, on both a new membership database and this new website. And throughout all the, the many hours of design uh, process and the many meetings, we've always uh, looked for ways to elevate geographers and your work and showcase and find new ways to bring our community together. Um, the, uh, this event on Wednesday is going to be the first chance for, for anyone to, uh, to have a, a, a peek at the future of the site. So please join us if you can. And then on Friday, April 9th at 3.30, I have the great privilege of interviewing the 2021 honorary geographer, Dr. Kathy Sullivan. Kathy and I will be discussing her amazing career as an oceanographer, an astronaut, and ocean explorer. Oh, and she also ran NOAA during the Obama administration and currently serves as the chair of aerospace history at the Smithsonian. Among her many claims to fame, she was the first American woman to walk in space and the first woman to explore the deepest part of the ocean in the Mariana Trench. Uh, and she went there just last summer. You won't wanna miss that conversation later this week. 
So let me end by thanking the many dedicated uh, council members, staff, and volunteers who make the AEG great and uh, make the meeting uh, such a, a wonderful experience. So we'll see you online this week and in New York in person this February. Enjoy the meeting. <laughs>